Yes. Yeah, because uh, we do quite. Uh, we've done quite a lot of projects right now for this model in the Philippines. Really? Uh, oh, on what? What? In CDO, we have four. We have one in General Santos, Luzon. We have another one as well. Okay. Different sizes. So it starts at about the eight is the smallest one, but generally speaking, is between the hundred and the two hundred cube. How many capacities? You know. Yeah. So the um, do you do yours is a layer house or a broiler house? Our broiler house has a capacity of three to thousand. A broiler cage, the cage. Ah, okay. So the 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 manure output mm. is around two point five tons a day. A day. A day on average, right? Okay. Yeah. So when it comes out, the broiler cage is very wet. You yeah. mean so? Usually, uh, from experience, we have done one in Kaga in the Oro actually for eighty thousand multi tier shed. We need usually it's a bit higher than that because towards the end it's quite high. The last few weeks, so to match the last few weeks. You will need a hundred cubed. Whoa. So that one at the end can do up to seven to eight tons a day. Every day it puts in the bucket, goes in, mm -hmm. and every seven days you 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 pull it out. No, every day you put in seven tons. Yes. Every day you get out about three tons. Yeah. So every day input, every day output. But that one batch that you put in on that Monday, say, you will get back in that seven days. Yeah. It's one week. After, yeah. Yeah. After the seventh day, you could. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So the kick, what we do is what they call the kickstarting kind of thing. So we we will actually provide that service that we will start with the sawdust to start cultivate the bacteria that's inside, and then every day you input your seven tons, you get three tons output. Three tons. Yes, yeah. And the moisture is. So the moisture input, I would assume it's twenty to twenty five percent dry or eighty percent moisture. That's what we have seen in the Philippines mostly especially the last week, and the output will be above 70% dry. I have lab results and all that that we have done for the project. In the Philippines, we always put as a standard, this is a deodorizer. So the exhaust goes through a water bath with oh, balls okay. on the inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, mainly it's ammonia and moisture and dust. So the dust gets trapped, but it'll turn into ammonium. That ammonium water can then be discharged on the soil or in the piping. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much, Mr. Sure, no problem. Yeah, nice to meet Thank you. Me. I'm Devin from Big Dutchman and welcome to VIV 2025. At Hall 8, stall number 2150.